Alabama won the toss deferred will kick off to North Texas at the south end zone and kicking off is William Watts better known as the wild thing and he booms one way back into the end zone it'll be down there by Brian Smith Michael Vaughn is back deep to take the punt from Toby Gowen Gowen kicking from his own five yard line sends it downfield and it's going to bounce at midfield and roll out of bounds at about the 49 between the 48 and 49 yard line of Alabama the offensive line anchored by Joel Holiday, and the first play sees Riddle carrying the ball and Riddle gets across the midfield stripe Gibson is missing an action swing pass comes out to the right flat and chased out of bounds is Todrick Malone, number 80. The linesman had originally walked out there to spot the ball, and it would have been a first down for Alabama, but instead it's a third down in the length of the football. But now the Crimson side goes right up the middle with Dennis Riddle, number 29. First down. Riddle again. Off his own left tackle, gets inside the 35 to the 33. Behind the blocking of Joel Holliday and Maurice Belser. Chad Key wide to the left side. They go to the run. That's Riddle again. And Riddle gets the first down. He is all the way down to the 27-yard line. A slot left. And Riddle is the running back. Bergdorf under a rush but runs away from it. And then he goes down by Willis Hudson, number 56, who throws him back at the 33-yard line. It'll be fourth down, a loss of almost 10. This year, his longest about 46, as I recall. He hit a 60-yarder in high school. Boy, he's something else. He's going the distance for this one. It looks pretty good. And it is not good. It veers off to the right. Michael Vaughn is back deep for Toby Gowen's punt. He'll be kicking from the 35. He gets it away. I don't know if it's partially blocked or not, but he just barely got it out of there, and it finally rolls down to the Alabama 32. The loss makes it fourth down and eight. Brian Smith is back to take the punt from Hayden Stockton. Stockton. Who sends an end over end to Brian Smith, 33, 40. And finally goes down near the 44. Bo Harrison, the running back. Motion man is Waters. Complete the Waters, the tight end, into Alabama territory, but I think the well, stop is going to be close. Going the 12th leading punter of the nation. Pops this one high, a mile high. And that ball is going to be downed inside the five-yard line. <laughs> So a great effort there. Third down, still about seven for Alabama. Deep in Alabama territory. And Bergdorf goes down. He fumbled the ball. He's going to be down to the one. Clay Jennings comes in to get him at the one-yard line. I knew him well when he was coaching. Snaps and center. They could almost get a flag out of the movement up there in the line of scrimmage. Brian Smith is back to take the punt at midfield. Smith gets ankle tackled but goes to the 40-yard line in Alabama territory, and that's where UNT will take over. Gully pumps once. He's under a rush. He's got to get going. He, he may get, he's got to get a flag for grounding the ball. you got to eat that ball when you're in a situation like that. <laughs> Matt Simon has selected his third down and 27 or 17. Fumble recovered by Gully at the 35. Fourth down. 34 yards to go. Partially, Partially blocked. blocked. The ball takes a roll for UNT, however. Goes down across the 35. Down to the 37. Outstanding Four. effort right now by the Eagles. Fourth down six. Hayden Stockton is back there to it is. throwing up the punt, and he gets the ball wide open. That is a crusher for Jimmy Jeremy Pruitt. UNT on the 36-yard line of Alabama. Now the Alabama defense really has to go to work. Josh throwing on the run, has the man open, and it's a knocked it around to the one-yard line, Corlin Grimes. Jennings Quarterback sneak right now. Here is the roll, a touchdown. Jason Mills rolling to the right, walking in unmolested. Well, he ran the option right there for a touchdown. And Marshall West, who can pick it up and lay him down, is to the left for Alabama. This is West. 
West gets a first down across the 25 to about the 37. Brady Kitchens, the quarterback. Gives the Steger, the tailback. And he gets tripped up at about the 43 and bounces to the 45. Second and three, Steger again on the run. Trying to go to the outside. He gets the first down, breaks the tackle, down the sideline, cuts back, still on his feet, may go all the way, but he goes down at about the 16. Calvin Davis just missed the tackle on that play. Wide outs to each side. Here comes the pitch again, Steger. One more time, Steger inside the 10. Oh, the, ball. Ball. the play may have been over, however. No, it wasn't. UNT recovered. Brett Renfro and Willis Hudson were in on the play defensively, and Hudson comes up for the ball. Third down, three. <laughs> Gully under the chase throw. Number 13, Cedric Samuel, with the second interception of the year, and that's just simply an experience. McKinney, and he just had no chance with it. No. Third down and 10. Gully to throw again. Gully to Smith, and Brian makes the catch, fights at the 35 to the 36, and gets a first down. First down, UNT. Gully looks to throw again, swings it out to Harrison. At the 40, Harrison to the 43. Toby Gowen to punt. Sends it downfield. Vaughn at the 20. Vaughn up the sideline, runs out of bounds at the 25. Curtis Brown is wide to the left side. He can fly. So can Marcel West, who is to the right. This is Curtis Brown. And, and Brown gets the first down in the 39, almost the 40, before Britt Renfro, number 43, can make the tackle. It is now second down six. Score tied at seven, second quarter in Tuscaloosa. Steger again, the tip behind the line, breaks the tackle low and bounces out to midfield. They've got more uh, more total offense running the ball today in the, in, in the first two quarters than they've averaged for the entire season. Take to Steger, pitch and throw long, and a great catch by Chad Key. Number 19 on the 26-yard line. Freddie Kitchens moving the Crimson Tide now with the score tied at seven. Kitchen to throw, and it is Anderson. And up there at Roderick Maynard. And 56 players that played in that game were active in the National Football League at one time or another. That shows you the strength of this conference. Draw. Nothing fumble. They pile up. But I think UNT recovered it. They did. DeAndre Mason. No, Alabama recovered it. Fourth and five, field goal attempt by Michael Proctor from the 21, making it a 31-yard field goal. And it is good. Alabama takes the lead. Well, at least these offensive linemen have played well. They're just out overmatched is what it amounts to. One punt, now down the far side. The ball is caught by Redwine, and Redwine is out of bounds. And these are all the things that UNT uh, can look for to, as they go on in the years ahead. Six seconds. This pass down the sideline is completed to uh, McKinney, and McKinney is brought down to the 25 as the first half comes to an end. So Curtis McKinney made that catch at the 25 yard line. Kevin Jackson made the tackle, and we run out of time in the first half. A 25 yard pickup on that pass play. So at halftime, Alabama leads by a score of 10 to seven. The quarterback will be Brian Bergdorf, who started the game. 10-7 Alabama. Steger is the running back. Steger, the call, and Steger across the 40. Third down, four. Kitchen trying to pick it up through the air. Dog, he throws to Steger. White outs to each side, a single running back. Fake to Steger, a screen to the wide out down, and Brown flips by a whoopee tackle, goes down the sideline, and finally out of bounds to the 23. Well, Joe Holliday uh, just gets in the way of about three people, and Brown makes a good play. Gain of 24 yards. This time they go to the up back, and that's Sism. And Chad Key is in the lineup as a wide out. Here comes Steger again, and Steger trying to get that first down, but he doesn't make it. He's brought down to 13. It looks like he's going to be a half yard to a yard short. 
Fourth down one. Bama will go for it. Steger slips, goes down, turns the ball over. First down for the Eagles. They held him. You gotta hurry. Going drives it downfield. This is a beauty. It'll be fielded on the 30 yard line. A little juke here and a little juke there. Merle Harmon with Gil Brandt and Ed Budenero in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Alabama's ball. Fake to the running back. Kitchen fires away and it's caught by Malone. And Malone is tossed out of bounds in Eagle territory by Avery Wright. Riddle the tailback. It's a blitz. Kitchen stays on his feet. Ankle tackle missed and he gets to the 36. Third down three. Kitchen swings it, caught by Key. Key at first down. Second down six, they're in the eye. Kitchen swings it out here to Brown, and Brown gets inside the 20, about the 23, near the 22. Riddle is the running back, but instead it goes to the halfback. Well, it is Riddle. And Riddle is at the 20, and that should be a first down. How about Northwestern? They came from behind to win 17-14 over Illinois. Third at Champagne. At Champagne. Blitz showing. And Bergdorf to throw. Fires it away. Incomplete. The intended receiver was Brown. He asked for a flag, and I think they got it. It'll be first and goal to go at about the eight-yard line for Alabama. Bergdorf. Touchdown to Sisson. Green. Harrison brought down from behind, but he gets out to the 33. Van Bowden, 97, got it from behind. You know, they're fighting an uphill battle right now, but in years to come, this is going to be a lot different situation. Beautiful putt by Goen, driving and a fumble, but a quick recovery by Michael Vaughn. Shag LaProd coaches the women's team. It'll be Monday the 30th, first and 10, Alabama, on the 13-yard line of Alabama. Cuts up the middle, and he's on the way for a big gainer. Keeping his feet, going across the 45 to the 49-yard line for the best run of the day for Alabama. Riddle has, has had a lot of bench time, so I guess he's fresh and realizes he better do something to... Uh... Bergdorf going for the touchdown, and it's Malone on the receiving end, and Alabama has scored again. Here they come. Beat the blitz to Brian Smith, and Smith has the first down at the 45. A pretty good hit from Brant and Floyd. Pretty and good coach right over here, too. Yes, sir. Quarterback draw. 40, 35, 30, 20, out of bounds at the 20-yard line. No running backs. Everybody is out. Gully throws. It is caught inside the 10 first by down. Brian Smith. And it's first and goal to go. Second and goal. Waters in motion. Oh, throwing touchdown. Brian Waters. And that was a well-conceived play. Yeah. Pretty good football game. You see the North Texas fans there. They're having a great time here. I'll tell you, there's a lot of tradition in this stadium. They're, be, they're glad to be part of it. Robbie yeah. Hoffman's extra point. Now you can run this block. thing. You can go for two points, but they don't get it. They played a great game, and I hope their fans appreciate it. Second and 14 after the penalty. Bergdorf throwing to the near sideline. He finds Malone. Malone is out of bounds in the 48 in Alabama territory. Avery Wright chased him out of bounds. Fourth and 10 now. Hayden Stockton gets the punt away, and he hangs this baby high. Smith, the fair catch, takes the ball at the 14. Now they go back in punt coverage for the return. Ball takes a pretty good roll. Vaughn grabs it, and it's taken away. It is grabbed by number 22, Philip Littlejohn, and Littlejohn goes into he's the called, end zone. He's called it dead. Corlin Grimes is now in. Let's keep an eye on him, along with Smith and Redwine, who split wide to the left side. Pass over the middle, incomplete, intended for Smith, and a flag goes down. Late flag. Alabama. Defensive pass interference. First down at the spot. 
perfect. He wants everything to be perfect. Gully throwing. Gully in, intercepted. Off the hands of Brian Waters and returned to the 29-yard line by Ralph Staten. His third interception of the year. Personal foul against the white team after the interception. 15 yards from the spot. First down. Brown coming wide to the right side now for Alabama. Kitchens in the pocket has time and a wide open receiver, Curtis Brown. Well, that's just a blow in coverage right there. First down, 10 the ball on the 49 yard line in UNT territory. Kitchens dropping to throw. He's got a wide open receiver on the 30 yard line. And it's Steger who is finally pulled down by Avery Wright. Steger trying to get to the outside, being pursued, and is knocked out of bounds in a oh, he's gonna call a, He's going to call a late hit out there, is what they're going to do. Alabama only three penalties today. They've averaged 10 per game this year. So Gene Stallings has to be pleased about that at least. Second down. Kitchens, key, touchdown Alabama. Fourth down eight. Here come the rush. Gully, not going to get out of it. Alabama will take over on the UNT 32. Kitchen, the quarterback, hands off to Sisson, and Sisson at the 20, Sisson at the 15, and finally out of bounds at the 13. Second down, seven for Alabama. Up the middle, chugging comes Sisson, and Sisson is just barely inside the five. But he, it's just plain zone blocking is what it is. Nothing fancy. They're just straight ahead and blowing him out. Third down, two. This time it's Riddle on the carry, following Sisson. He gives him the lead block, and he goes in for the touchdown. He's kicking from the 20 and came over the short kick. Normally he kicks the ball out of sight. That's called why they call it a wild thing. And a wild thing sends this one high into the air. It's going to come up short of the goal line, however, at the five-yard line, where it's taken by McKinney. And McKinney gets to the 20, McKinney to the 25, the 30, 35, 40, midfield, 45, 40, and out of bounds near the Alabama 30-yard line. Rush on, Gully throws, incomplete. See, he got hit just as he was releasing the ball that goes right into the ground. Coach, the real coach. The Jerry real Jones. coach, Jerry Jones. Daniel Pope kicking this time. Ball's going to roll dead on the 29-yard line. Jason Mills, quarterback draw. 48-yard line. Second and two. Mills to throw. On the sideline, the ball is caught by Red Brown. Red Brown the 10, the 15, the 10, the 5. Touchdown! Troy Redwine with his sixth touchdown of the year. 38-19 now, Alabama. You think it's a throw? House. A throw back to the tight end. <laughs> Loop to the end zone, incomplete, so they don't get it. They, what they do is they put all the backs and wide receivers out there, and they call it the hands team. There's a little push is, kick. They're going to see this. if they can catch this ball. No, you can't they, do that. Mad scramble for it. Flag goes down. See, he's going to call in a, 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 a failure to allow the man to free ki fair catch the ball. This is Madden. This guy's really quick. He's a freshman. 5'9 and 200 pounds. Brought down by Justin Ray. Second down eight for Alabama. The pitch comes to the tailback. And he goes to the 33. That's Montoya Madden. I don't know if we'll have another play or not. The ball is... Uh, down to the 33, Avery Wright making the play, and there will not be another play. And Dean Stallings and Matt Simon will meet Rickard in the middle of the field. Duke Lamb made the last uh, tackle, and I think he's also down. And Gene Stallings is no doubt telling Matt Simon, hey, you guys play tough. Normally, it's just a quick handshake and see you later. But uh, Gene Stallings and 
Matt, we're having a nice conversation there, and maybe we can pick up from Ed Budanero uh, what that conversation was all about. So Alabama defeats the University of North Texas 38-19, and we'll return to Bryant-Denny Stadium after this from your local station.